I'm with Dwight Dirksen in the Ecopod. Tell me what you've done here. Tell me what the plan is here. Well, we've, uh, we're trying to give some people an option to enjoy a recreational property while creating a very low environmental impact. So uh, what we've done with the Ecopod is uh, we've recycled uh, an old shipping container into a very short-term living space. And uh, we've kind of designed a uh, drop-down door that allows us to hinge this back up and kind of restore it back to its original uh, original shape. Is that the actual side of the container? Or, or? That's, that is the actual oh. side. We ended up cutting out the whole side, steel side of it and remanufactured re, re it into this deck. Now there are so usually a sort of monocoque construction where the wall is part of the structural. So do you have to put a beam in Absolutely. across the top? Absolutely. Where you we restructured the, the support of the roof. Right. And we dropped in a few posts to accommodate the uh, sliding glass doors. And we hinged the deck back to the unit yep. to allow us to close it back up. Uh, when when the door when the deck is closed back up, it's basically back to the same configuration what the container was originally done, designed for. So it has the strength and the durability that was originally designed into the unit, and that gives us the option of using the infrastructure of transportation and equipment that's uh, really all around the world. So now one of the pieces of uh, infrastructure and equipment that's not all the way around the world mm -hmm. is how do you get the container off the flatbed and onto the ground. Well, it, here what we're using is a flatbed with a little high app crane that will load it onto ah. the location. Okay, so, uh, and we've done a 20 footer here because it's easier to move around. It's oh, good to sure. get it to a remote location, whereas the 40s are a little bit more difficult. But uh, we could do a 40 foot container the same way we've done this one. So, what were you telling me that you've made the floor out of? This floor is uh, made from recycled car tires. This is actually a rubber product and uh, it's. Uh, very durable, it's great exterior use, right. and the company that we're getting this from is the largest purchaser of used car tires in the world. And the wall panel, what kind of wood is that? The wall panel is a uh, laminated birch, and oh. uh, the unit comes fully insulated. We've uh, used the latest environmentally uh, sound uh, rigid insulation. Which one, out of curiosity? Uh, what we've done is, uh, the, the company that we used is uh, Avenue Insulation, they're actually right. here at the show and they've used the latest technology. So it's a non-ozone depleting uh, spray foam. It's a closed cell, so there's no thermal transmission. I think no. I was just there looking yeah, at it. Yeah, they've got okay. some great products. So they've got the latest in all the spray foam technology, and they actually did our unit here. Okay, and how many have you made? Uh, we've, made this is, uh, we've made about three other prototypes on top of this one. This was the one that we really liked the best, and we kind of keep, uh, kept improving along the way. Right. And so this is the one that we're kind of debuting at this year's home show, and uh, we're gonna judge uh, how people have received it and so far it's been just outstanding. And uh, I guess being a shipping container you'll sell it to anyone anywhere? Correct. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome.